Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. All we're going to do is take a pair of pants and take them in. But this tutorial is for pants that have something going on the side that make you not be able to just take a quick stitch up the side. So they either have pockets or like my pants here, they have a stripe. So let's go. I got these pants, they're actually part of our overall set. I just took the top part off. I got them because I have a hard time finding wide leg pants that are long enough for my legs. And I also like the stripe on the side. First of all, you could do two seam down the front. And you could also do two seams down the back if you need to. It depends on how much you need to take them in. You can also take in the crotch, which we're going to need to do because this, uh, these, like I said, were meant to be overall, so it is hitting quite high on me where the crotch should hit, like about there, is all the way right under my breastbone. I have a really short torso, so I'm gonna need to do this as well. But you can see that that makes them fit odd. It's already just bringing everything in weird. Um, so that can't happen without also taking in the crotch in the middle. The first thing I'm going to do is take off the waistband, except for the part that's back by the zipper. So we'll use a seam ripper and just go ahead and take the waistband off. Nice. All right, so I have the waistband off mostly, except for back by the zipper. I could take it completely off and move the waistband down, which would solve my high waist or long crotch issue but then that would also shorten the pants and like i said this is because my legs are uh, long and i have a hard time finding pants now you have to be really careful when you're taking up a crotch so i've heard somebody say well why don't you just take up the crotch it's not that simple because when you look at the pattern for a pair of pants you have this curve in the front and you also have a curve in the back if you're taking away from that curve that means your pants have no curve but your body still does your body curve meaning the curve that goes down your crotch from the back of your butt to the front if you're taking that curve away you still have a curve so you can't really do that and expect your clothing to fit the same way so at the most i could probably take out you know like just maybe that amount and it'll still give me some curve um, that would suit my body but you have to be really careful about that i take it in in the front and then we're also gonna take the end of the curve just a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this uh, inside out. All right, so here we go. You can see it already had a little bit of a dart at the top. Take advantage of that dart and just take it in more. And we're gonna take that in all the way down the front. And I'm not gonna particularly measure this one. I'll measure it after I finish so that I can match it on the other side. I know I need to take it in a ton. As long as I don't get too crazy with these, I'll be fine for now. Now, if you're taking it in and you only have a, a little bit, a couple inches that needs to be taken in, then by all means, definitely, definitely measure and see how much it needs to be taken in. All right, so we're gonna do that all, all the way down to the hem. Also on the other side, I wanna make sure that I'm the same amount apart from the middle, so three inches, and we'll measure to see if the pleat is the same distance, to, I mean, the same width too. A little less than an inch and a half, okay. Another way you can do this to make sure this little pleat or whatever it is, uh, is the same all the way down. Once you have one, you can take it from the hem and then lay it flat that way. And that way you can make sure that you're pinning it the same amount all the way down. Now, when we're talking about construction of this garment, that is definitely bringing the side seam more towards the front of me. I don't mind that because of the white stripe. I like to be able to see it a little bit from the front so I don't have to turn so much when, when I wanna show off that stripe. Um, but I will try it on and we'll see how it goes. All right, so then when we're talking about the crotch, I am only going to take it in, I mean, like maybe an inch or an inch and a half. And we'll just 
you know, all along the edge, follow it down. And I might actually probably taper it where I only started like here, started right where the current seam is, and then go up a little bit, take that crotch out, and then go back down to the same point on the other side. And all throughout the process, you wanna try to keep these seams as flat as possible so that you don't have like the fabric coming, the underside of the fabric coming forward. All right, so we're gonna go put in those basting stitches and then we'll be right back. When I say basting stitch, what I mean is making the stitch length longer so that it's easy to take out if I need to. So I just put it up to the highest setting and I'm just gonna line the fabric up with the edge of my plate because that's like right at one and a half inches. With this, you don't wanna do any back stitches or anything like that. And I'm purposely gonna stop at the hem because I don't know if this is going to be what I want or not. All right, so this is how they're fitting. I, I really like that I didn't take them in too much in the crotch, so it's not making them fit, you know, bad. So, cause what could happen is like, you start getting that, like that little bunching in there, you don't want that. So now I'll do the exact same thing in the back that I did in the front. And that way I don't have to touch the sides. All right, so let's measure. I pinned, pulled it to the back, measure how much. That is an inch and a half again. So I'll take those out, turn it inside out again, and we will repeat this process. And I think I do wanna taper this a little bit to go a little bit wider towards the bottom because I wanna keep as much of the flare as possible, you know? For the um, basting stitch, I didn't go all the way through because I need to take the hem out. That's uh, not, oh, got it. All right, so we have that out. Once we finish this and we get it to fit properly, then when we take when we add the permanent stitch, we can go all the way to the hem, you know, cut the excess and turn it back under so that it looks like that's how it always was supposed to be. so good all right now that we know that everything fits I can go in with a regular stitch length you can see there my stitch length is 2.5 so it's just my normal regular stitch length we can go in and put that permanent stitch in to make sure that these don't open up and I did open up the hem the whole hem because I wanted the extra length and I did a back stitch at the hem to make sure that it stays closed all right, once the stitches are in permanently, you can go back in and cut away the excess. And if you have a serger, you can go ahead and serge them. Um, but if you do not, you can go ahead and go to your regular sewing machine and add a zigzag stitch right along the edge. If you want a no sew option, there is stuff called fray check that you can use as well. All right, so we have our waistband ready to go back on. And just like how we took it off, we first need to sew the inside down. And then we go back and sew the outside down. But we have to adjust. I think I'm gonna do the extra on this side. So that means I need to, all right. So now that lets us know how much we need to take in. So that means we need to turn this over. Since I'm trying to line it up with this, roughly, we'll mark here and here. All right. Once we get these two marks lined up, we can add a pin and now we can test it to see if that's the right amount. Yes, that seems to be the right amount and in the right place. 
So now I'll go, I'll go and sew this here. And once we determine finally that it is the right amount, then we'll cut off the excess. Open this seam up, fold it flat. And the reason we do that is to create less bulk on the inside once we get the folding and all that kind of stuff. And then once we get that flat, we can put it inside and sew down the rest of the inside seam. Once all of that is sewn down, we can fold the top over and sew it back down to the top. And that is it. Only one, only one, only one. Only one, only one, only one. If you really like this beginner video and you're interested in learning more about upcycling, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. I love to upcycle to transform old clothes to new designer pieces, but I also like to just take the pieces in my closet that don't quite fit and just do little tweaks to them to make them my own or just to make them fit. So much of just retail is not made for the regular girl or the odd girl they make us feel odd but we're not really odd and so i just want to help everybody to be able to love their wardrobe so if you're interested in that hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing all right i hope you enjoyed this definitely we have other basic easy beginner videos um alterations and upcycles right here for you to watch and i will see you in the next one all right bye